irreverent, entertaining, cool. You're listening to LA Talk Radio. You're listening to Question Reality with Priscilla Leona right here on LA Talk Radio. Question Reality. I'm Priscilla Leona, producer and host of this show, and we are coming to you live from Los Angeles, California. For 10 years, we have been ranked the number one entertainment career advice internet show worldwide. This show is the show to listen to if you're thinking about or if you're currently pursuing a career in the entertainment industry. And that's because the guest on our show will help you by providing tips, advice, and resource information on how and what it takes to successfully pursue a career in a wide variety of show business professions. Now, the Guests include on our show, we have Emmy winners, Grammy winners, Tony Award winners, reality TV stars, producers, directors, casting directors, talent managers, screenwriters, actors, singers, songwriters, comedians, writers, writers, novelists, meaning writers, novelists, say, actually, big difference, writers and novelists, you would think they're the same People say, why do you call a writer a writer and a novelist a novelist? Well, it's actually different. And when we have writers and novelists on, I'll have them explain it to you. Uh, We have script supervisors, stunt people, and around December, November, December, uh, we usually have an entertainment attorney come on for all of your show business questions, needs, questions, needs. You hear that? Questions, needs. You can tell the wild turkey's kicking in right now. The wild turkey's kicking in. Uh, The entertainment lawyers come in and they provide you with information on all of your entertainment industry needs, questions wants, desires. Uh, If you missed any of our shows, please go to our latalkradio.com archive page. And on that page, you can search for our show title, which is Question Reality. Or you can search by my name, Priscilla Leona. And all of the Question Reality shows are also available for free on iTunes, Google Play, and Stitcher.com under the podcast section. And please make sure that you get your free mobile app. We have a beautifully designed mobile app, a newly designed mobile app, and it is on the home page of the latalkradio.com website. It's on the right-hand side towards the bottom of the page. Just scroll a little bit. There's a little scrolling involved. you got to take a little tour down the yellow brick road right on down. A lot of people say, I can't find it. Where is it? I can't find it. Because people have 10-second attention spans. We as a society have 10-second attention spans. And it takes about 12 seconds to get to the bottom of the latalkradio.com website. So give it two more seconds. Um, Finally, if you want to be a guest or refer someone to be on our show to promote and showcase themselves, their products, or genuinely help listeners with sage career advice, we are currently booking for July through December. July through December. So please go to our official website, which is totally different from the LA Talk Radio uh, website. Our official website for this show is called questionrealityradioshow.com, questionrealityradioshow.com. And you click on the contact linked link. Did I say linked? I said linked with T-E-D on it. On the contact link to submit for interview consideration. We're going to consider you. Yeah, you'll be. Y'all come on the show. Don't worry about it. Just submit. Um, Actually, (laughs) there is a process. Okay, let's see. 
We are so excited today, or at least I'm excited, but I would have been more excited had our guest been able to fly out to L.A. He was not able to make it out here, um, and he is currently in Georgia, a place that I've never been to, but I am dying to go to, uh, probably because that's where they shoot the originals. Actually, that's all done. It's the final season. My gosh, it's already over. One of my favorite shows in the whole world, the originals, uh, is shot there, but actually so many shows are being shot in Georgia right now. Huge production hub. So if you don't want to move to LA or New York, hit Georgia. Um, anyway, the guest that we were so excited to meet, but he's, he promised he's going to come out here next year. His name is Devin Nash. Now, isn't that a great name? Devonier Devin is what I like to call him, uh, at least to my husband. I'm like, oh, I can't wait till Devonier Devin comes on. Devonier Devin Nash. Uh, he is a urban pop artist, and I want you to go to his website right now and check it out. He, ladies, 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 he is hot. He's happening. He is a little sex ball. A little sex toy is what I like to call him. His website is devinnashmusic.com. Devinnashmusic.com. That's D-E-V-I-N-N-A-S-H-M-U-S-I-C.com. And he's also on Instagram at Devin. Nash music as well. So go there and once you get a look at him, woo, you are gonna be you're gonna be O D on it. Now I say O D on it because let me just tell you how I ran into Mr. Devin Nash. As all of you know from me doing this show and talking about it for 10 years. I am obsessed with reality television. You know I love just about everything on TV except Duck Dynasty and what's that other one? The little people. The little women of every city in America it seems like they have a show about. I can't I can't dig it. I'm not digging it. It's just not happening. I can't get into those shows. But I am a huge fan of 90 Day Fiance and also Teen Mom. Why? I don't know. But it's just some hot drama. There's hair being pulled, weaves coming out, black eyes. Oh, everything we love about television, right? Drama, action. Uh, well, I was watching a show called Teen Mom UK, not Teen Mom OG or Teen Mom 2, Teen Mom UK. Got to make that distinction in the Teen Mom uh, uh, I guess it's, oh gosh, I don't even know. It's like an empire now. But I was watching Teen Mom UK to check out, obviously, a new Teen Mom show. What else? And I am watching this show. And you know how they always play, like, little snippets of music as they're showing the scene when somebody's crying because they they – they had the baby and then they got in a fight and then their boyfriend walked out and left them and he's down the street with some hoe and she finds out about it on Facebook and she's crying and they're playing a song. Well, one of these incidents happened and there was a song that came on and I was like, oh my God, I love this song. I love this song. Oh, I have to have this song. So um, obviously they only played a little snippet of it, right? A little snippet, but I was able to Shazam it. And it could not find the musical artist. I'm like, what? What? I was going absolutely crazy. So then I did the sound hound. Couldn't find it. Could not find this song. I was losing my mind. So I had to have my assistant do some research, and she tracked down the guy who was the singer of this song, who was Mr. David Nash. And um, I sent an email to him and explained the situation. I said, I have to have your song. It's not on iTunes. Cannot find the song. What is the name of the song, and where can I get it? Well, he actually, I think he called me or actually sent an email. We communicated and he told me the name of the song. 
I ended up being able to get it on iTunes eventually, and it is called OD. Oh, you will be entranced and hypnotized by this song. This guy rocked it out on this song, OD. I'm telling you. Now, if you want to check it out, go to iTunes right now. It's OD, literally O as in Oliver and D as in Diamond or Devin. OD, you got to go to iTunes right now and check this song out. It is hot and you will want it. I'm telling you, it is fantastic. And I am so, you know, I tell it like it is. I am so real and upfront. I think that this song pretty much covers age zero to, I think, somebody up to like 55 would probably like this song. Um, So anyway, check it out. It's OD. Devin is here with us today. Uh, A little bit about Devin. Uh, He's pretty much you know, he, he, he's, he's the whole package, in my opinion. He is an urban pop artist. He, as I said, he's based out of Atlanta, Georgia. He describes himself as an emotionally charged person and relatable. And Devin is determined to help revitalize the pop world with his exciting music. And his recently debuted uh, first single entitled Crystals, with a K, K-R. I-S-T-O-L-S, is going to do that for you if OD doesn't do it for you first. So check out OD first, but then we'll move on to crystals. Haven't, I haven't heard that yet, so I can't, I can't like seriously plug this song. I can seriously tell you OD is on my playlist, and it is right after the weekend. I can't feel my face when I'm with you. So anyway, that tells you how much I love this song. Um, the song Crystals, it's been it's been described as very deep so if you like deep music crystals is for you uh the concept was actually inspired devin says by break the word break in heartbreak and his emotional tone combined with powerful lyrics are gonna just compel you to listen with it with an open heart so you know, check that out. I would imagine that's on iTunes, too. We're going to ask Devin in a couple seconds. Um, Devin has been an opening act for music giants like Mario. And I hope I'm saying this right, not being the hip-hop person that I should be. Walk a flock of flame or wake a flake of flame. I'm not sure. We'll have Devin tell me how to pronounce it. Uh, Devin's music has also been featured on the TV show In Our Lifetime, uh, which I believe, um, I I believe it was some sort of a teen soap opera. I'm off the top of my head, but not sure. We'll confirm with him. And always, uh, oh, as I told you, MTV's Team Mom UK, which he didn't even know it was on. I didn't even know they were stealing his music. They had stole the damn man's music, playing it on um, playing it on uh, MTV's UK, thinking they were going to get away with it. Well, not on my watch. If I like a song, I'm going to track it down. Now, thank goodness, and we're going to talk to Devin about this, because this is a very common thing that's happening in show business. So if you are a musical artist, you really have to be registered with BMI or ASCAP because you don't want this happening to you uh, as it happened to Devin and so many other people. You're watching a show all of a sudden. It's like your song's playing. You're like, well, great. I appreciate that. Very honored. Show me the money. Show me the money. I need to get up on a Whopper sandwich. I need three tacos for a dollar. Where's my residuals? So, thank goodness I was able to tell that poor man that he had a had a song playing on the air. Um, Devin is currently working in the studio on new material for his next EP called Flashback Friday. Oh, I think I'm going to love this because, you know, Friday nights is my night of action. So... And uh, Lord knows I have flashbacks left over from the 70s. So, just kidding. I was a baby in the 70s, late 70s, early 80s, late 70s, early 80s. Not giving away any any age group here because I look like I'm 29. I've been looking like I'm 29 for a while now. And I continue to just be frozen in time. So, without further ado, let's talk to that hot sexy man of action, Debonair Devin Nash. How the hell are you? What's going on in Georgia? 
Georgia. Hey, what's going on? How are you doing? How you doing? How you doing? I'm, <laughs> I'm doing good. Yeah. And it's hot right now. It's hot. Oh, my gosh. You want to talk about hot? Now, I know, I think Georgia has, like, some serious-ass humid heat, whereas in California uh -huh. today, I had a, a sitcom, I had an intensive sitcom weekend workshop. Th oh, my okay. God. It was, like, 99 degrees, but it's a dry heat, which I can yeah. deal with. I'd rather feel the dry heat then that mm -hmm. hot heat, oh my God, yeah. I could not under, I could not deal with that job. And I'm from the East Coast, you know, I told you, you know, I'm from Connecticut, and then I ended up yeah. going to school in Maryland, so, I, and I, my stomping ground used to be D.C., where, I don't know, you're not, you weren't mm -hmm. born there, or you, were you living there? Were you born in D.C.? I remember you saying something about that. No, I was born in Baltimore, Maryland. Oh, in Baltimore, well, Maryland. I'm, yeah, uh huh. Well, I, I mean, I lived there for eight, eighteen years. What Baltimore? Yeah. What kind? What part of Baltimore? Um, Pikesville, Owings Mills, uh, oh, Towson area. Owings Mills Mall. I was there every weekend. I was in college at the Owings Mills Mall. I had all the malls, but Owings Mills yeah, was they, huge. Yeah, it was. Thank you. Say that again. It was, don't believe me. it was huge. Why you? Yeah, it, was it was Jersey huge. It wasn't huge. Yeah. It was huge. It, it was. Do, it really was. And now it's not a distance down now. Do people not think the Owings Mall Mall is huge or something? No, because it's gone now. Oh, it's gone. Yeah, <gasps> yeah they, they threw it down. Are you serious? Yeah. As of when? Yeah, probably what, about five years ago, I think. What? I mean, well, actually, I think they tore it down two years ago, but it really started to go downhill about in the late 2000s. It really just, you know, there weren't many stories there. and It was bad, but, you know, when I was younger, it was huge. Oh, huge. Yeah. I love the oh, I loved it. Oh, that was, oh, that is a shame. I don't think I've ever actually heard of a mall that large closing i really don't yeah. now i don't know if you ventured up to pennsylvania but i remember back in my stomping ground days we used to go to the king of prussia mall in pennsylvania okay. have you ever been there to, oh no. that one. that's like a, that's a world up there that's a whole ass world but you live close to um you live close to dc i think they just have a you know, have some really good malls in D.C. now, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh-huh, yeah. I mean, like, D.C. has built themselves up. I mean, I haven't been there in a while, so I can't name anything too much, but I know it's built up a lot around there, so oh, it's a really so good how, place to be. So how long have you been back in Georgia, or you were born in Baltimore, so 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 what, what got you from Maryland to Georgia? Was it just... I flew, um, I moved to Georgia in 2012, to uh, specifically pursue um, songwriting. And I started um, songwriting for people down here, people that, that you know, have been on, like, The Voice and local artists and, you know, some people who, are, you know, were signed. And, like, that was my point. I mean, that, that was my purpose. And, um, and I didn't really stop doing any singing. And, I mean, I didn't do my first EP until 2016. And that was just because I went through a, a personal, as you can see, that, um, you know, from the uh, bio you read, I had a heartbreak, and I just get inspired me to write songs, and I felt like, well, only for me. And so I just said, I'm going to put these out. So well, well, that's, that's kind of what you. happened. Let me ask, let's go back to that exciting moment when I first heard my my beloved song, O.D. Is mm -hmm. that the heartbreak uh -huh. you're talking about? Is that what inspired yeah. you to write, that, um, write the O.D. song? Because I want to start back with the O.D. song. You know how I feel about that O.D. song. First of all, yeah. I saw the music video. I was like, oh, hell no. What is going on there? <laughs> so I was trying to associate. And I don't know if it's, mm -hmm. I don't understand if it's because I'm in a different age group than you are, but whenever there's mm -hmm. a title of a song, I'm mm -hmm. assuming that the content is going to be related to the title of the song. So I'm watching the music video and I'm mm -hmm. not understanding in the video what the OD meant. So remember I asked you, mm -hmm. I said, what does the OD mean? Because I couldn't glean it from the yes. music video. So what 
does OD stand for? It really means to use somebody. Oh. You know, you use them and to pretty much until you use them up. It could be a drug, but, to, you know, to use somebody. Um, it's funny. I got that. Uh, I was out in uh, Miami, and there was this kid I was um, hanging with, and we were talking about this 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 girl that he was with, and he was talk he was saying, I, you know, she's she, you know, she's always on him all the time, and he feels like he's that she's trying to OD me. That's what he said. I said, well, what does that mean? Wow. And he said he was like, uh, you know, he's kind of using me all the time to get what she needs. I just thought that was such an interesting thing. And at that time, I was still kind of going through my own thing, and I could, you know, relate to what you were saying because that that was how I felt about that heartbreak that I had been through. And I just and and you know the words, uh, uh, my God, she's hell with this heaven in her eyes. That whole thing kind of came to my mind. I was and just started writing it, and first verse in the chorus, and that was it. Oh, so, why? so interested in how titles come to be usually they're mm-hmm. very self-explanatory within the context of mm-hmm. the song however sometimes they're not as this one was for me and i mm-hmm. thought i have to know what that means but od could mean like what that guy said like she's trying to od me like she's trying to for me it sounds like she's trying to overdose him with too much of herself right. so that is that like am yeah, i with right. it Am I, am I, am yeah. I digging it? All right. Mm. Yeah, All yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. I, see, I'm still <laughs> hip in my own way. Now, let's talk about um, your, in your bio, you had said that you recently debuted your first single entitled Crystals. Now, I thought OD mm-hmm. was the first single. Am I wrong about that? Or uh, uh, No, uh, Crystals was the first single, and then I put out OD almost probably about six, seven months later. Oh. Um but yeah, uh uh-huh. okay. But they were the, the 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 main two singles I put out. I, I mean, there were a couple of songs I, I put out too that were, you know, that were kind of just on Facebook and stuff like that. But actually, like videos, videos, oh, I put okay. those two out. Yep. Oh, okay. I did. Yep. I haven't seen mm-hmm. crystals now. Can we get crystals on on iTunes too? K R I S T O L S crystals. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's on yeah. iTunes. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so yeah. tell us, um, so if Crystals was the first song, was that the one about the, the big heartbreak? The entire, the, the album well, is the called The whole album is about heartbreak. There's nothing but heartbreak right. and despair going on. And yeah, on this album, exactly. You're such an upbeat, positive guy. I find it hard to believe that you <laughs> have ever suffered any heartbreak. And I can't imagine anyone breaking your heart because you are sweet as Georgia peach pie. I don't know what <laughs> is going on, Devin Nash. How I mean, I don't know. It just, it just happened. I mean, th- things happen, you know? Things well, don't so work out. But, you know. I- is who the hell are these hoes you're going out with? Oh, I better show up. <laughs> who are these women you're choosing? You're choosing the wrong type of women because somebody probably is, that's what it is. You got bad taste in women. I got that's bad taste in women. <laughs> <laughs> you it have a true. lack of judgment if you're yeah. choosing women that are breaking your heart. You got bad taste in women. You got to work on it. Well, you got to you know what though. What? Like I've only had my heart really broken like that, like twice. Oh. That's it. It's never been too much, but that one was a big one for me, and it's just you know. You ever heard yeah. that term? Once is enough. <laughs> but you yeah, never. I mean, know. I agree. That's true. You no, know, you're right. Once was enough. You know, you don't know. I mean, you go out with someone, you think they're one thing. Next thing you know, they got like a whole Doctor Heckle, Mister Jock. Was that Miss Doctor Jock? Doctor Jekyll, Mister Hyde thing going on, right? You don't know. Right. Yeah. So Crystals yeah. uh, was the first uh, song, and mm-hmm. um, what and and it was described as very deep. Was that mm-hmm. for any certain reason? Um, well, you know, it talks about, um, <laughs> it talks, if you see the video, it, it talks about, um, how do I explain it? it, it, it Heartbreak so, and despair? Do you well, think that, we can well, that, up well, to those two words? <laughs> well, that, but, but you know what, at that time I felt so empty. I'm going to be honest. I felt so empty. I felt like I mean, I, I would do anything to fill the, the, Whole, uh, the voice that I felt at that time, and so it talks about that. Talks about 
things that I would do, drugs, women, whatever, you know, that I felt like doing. Didn't do it, didn't do any drugs or anything. There were a couple of women. But, 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 uh, but, the, let's talk but about you know, sex addict, sex addict. No, no, we're going to have a damn song with you confessing to be a sex addict. It's going to be called Sex Stop. That's what it's going to be called. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Debbie. Yeah. But no, but no, I mean, that's what it was. I mean, that's, you know, kind of what happened. And, you know, but I've, the, I've moved, I, I've moved on from that. And, you know, was the, was the whole thing over a woman? It was it over. A, it was a, it was a relationship, right? That, right. That made, right. That, correct. Right? Okay. Okay. Right. Yeah. All right, but yeah. you got over it. And I'm mm-hmm. hoping that what, well, where did this title come from? This is a, 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 a crystals, K R I S T O L S. Please don't tell me you named this song after this woman. <laughs> you did. Son of a It's bitch. a different spelling. Okay. Yeah, so and it was you not by. It. You don't get it. It's not with a C. It completely, completely throws us off, Devin. It completely throws us off. I know, right? No, no, it doesn't. I know it doesn't. But. <laughs> But, um, no, I mean, you know what? It wasn't even my idea. It was somebody else's idea. And it, I just felt like the song was so deep, at, in my opinion, at least. It was, um, I, it, at, at the end of the song, it goes, you know, you don't love me anymore. That's how the, the course ends. And I just felt like it was too deep to have a song called Love Me Anymore or Anymore. I felt like it was sad to have to be something else. Oh. So and that's what I called it. I called it Crystals. Yeah. I, I don't know. Well, I like it you know, because it was, I like title it's unique i like it because it's right. spelled it's a it's a unique spelling i like that mm-hmm. we're curious about what it means and if you write a right. title to a song even if someone hasn't heard the song like i haven't heard this song but because mm-hmm. i see the name i'm gonna be i'm gonna listen to it because i want to know what song goes with that name so that yeah. is a, a way to approach uh writing a song for all of you aspiring songwriters out there if mm-hmm. uh you can't come up with the title choose one that's totally unrelated to the song or change the c to a k like devin did <laughs> right. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Right. So uh, uh, we're about to play. Um, I know that I know that you 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 have um, so many songs that that are out there. We're going to play in a couple minutes. My favorite, which is uh, the OD, and you've already explained what that is. But uh, I want to mm-hmm. talk briefly about how your journey. I want to talk about your journey because you you. I mean, this is pretty pretty big for you to be opening for be an opening act for music giants mario and is it walk a flock walk a flock of flame yes, it yes. Is. you got it the first time yes yeah that's a title for a band now that's a good yeah. ass title or a person i don't know if that's a individual yeah he's a ra- yeah yeah uh, oh, he's, he's a rapper a yeah oh a rapper okay so mm-hmm. and i've heard of mario i definitely heard mm-hmm. of him um, so yeah. how did these two opportunities come about, uh, opening for Mario and Waka Flocka Flame? Um, management at the time, they just got me the, the, the show. Um, we had, to, I uh, submitted some songs and, uh, you know, the people who were uh, putting on the show liked them and they brought me in. I, I think it was like a 10, 15 minute set we did. So yeah, it was good. It was yes. a good look. It's a great look. And, I really enjoyed it, actually. Did you continue a relationship with them or uh, work with them oh. in the future? How? Because that's like a great opportunity to 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 work with people of, of that caliber in the music industry. And it's right. uh, very important that if you get that opportunity that you, you know, kind of network and market as much as you can without appearing desperate or, or right. thirsty kids say thirsty, don't want to right, appear exactly. like you're thirsty um mm-hmm. that just means desperate for those of you who are older than i am the kids say don't be all thirsty that means don't, don't be, thirsty. Don't be exactly. desperate exactly right. don't be desperate yeah. so um do, did you take an opportunity or was there an opportunity available for you to meet with mario and walk a flock of flame and, and build a relationship of some sort I mean, we took pictures. There was no time to really meet each other like that because it was like yeah. very, you know, uh, very quick. Like, take some pictures, and then you know, I think Thought. he, you know, yeah, gone. And he had to go on stage right. and everything like that. Right. But you know, I mean, this is a thing. I've met them since then, and I've talked, oh, you know, oh, since good. then. So it's like yeah. you know, 
you know, when you're consistently in the same circles, you, you'll continue, you know, just cause it's not the, the first time you meet them, it, uh, it doesn't necessarily, you know, turn into something that doesn't mean it won't turn into something later. That's right. And it, that's yeah. A- that's so. a very good point, Devin. It is yeah. a see yeah. that just because if you're an opening act for these, you know, music giants and you don't get a chance to meet them, um, then that doesn't mean uh, that you will not meet them around the road because you are running in the same circles. And right. guess what? It is time because I'm excited. We're already two minutes past our okay. past our, and we we want to get because we're going to be playing two songs for you today by Devin. We are going to play OD, which I absolutely put my foot down and insisted that we play. And then we're going to be playing, we're going to end the show with his latest song, which is called what, Devin? Don't Stop. And that's that's going to be one of the songs. Oh, I'm going off on a Mike Jackson. Okay. So yeah. we're gonna we're going to first listen to OD, and when we come back, we're gonna talk about um, Devin's new song called "Don't Stop." What the motivation was for writing it? I, I'll give you a clue. It's probably heartbreak and despair, but let's hold out. Maybe it wasn't right. <laughs> mm-hmm. Right, mm-hmm. Devin? It might yeah, be a pop br- tune. You it might, might be surprise a pop tune. <laughs> Right. <laughs> you might surprise us, and we ha- we actually are like ready to put on our dancing shoes. You never know. All right, so we'll mm-hmm. find out. Um, so right now we are going to listen to my favorite, one of my favorite songs. I mean, literally, no joke. I am so not kidding. Literally, this is one of my favorite songs in the whole world. It really is right now, mod- in modern contemporary music. Od by Devin mm-hmm. Nash. Yeah. So I'm let's very listen. Humble. Well, let me tell you, when when this song plays, everybody's going to know this song is it. They're going to go pay their $1.29. You are going to be able to get like, psh, oh, no, buy a jacket or a pair of shoes for sure. Okay. <laughs> because right. you, okay. you never, I don't know. Hopefully you'll be able to buy a, a house, but you don't know how many people are, are, are like, cash is thin right now you know for everybody so anyway this is od by devin nash and when we come back we'll talk to devin about his next uh his uh, latest song so without further ado devin nash od take it away ronan God, she's hell, but there's heaven in her eyes, and it's so marvelous, it's so damn hard to miss, it ain't right, the way that she came into my life, it makes her hard to trust, it's so damn dangerous, because I'm thinking about her future, and that ain't what she's used to. She wanna OD on me, OD on me. That girl, she hit me deep. And then she wanna leave, leave. Hey, oh, she wanna OD on me, OD on me. That girl, she hit me deep. And then she wanna leave, leave. Hey, hey. No, no. She don't know what she wants. She wants to know what she wants Cause it ain't about the love I don't think I ever knew what it was It was so right Then came the hard fights And it was over But it ain't over Hope oh, cause she's thinking About her future And that ain't what She's used to She 
wanna leave. Yeah, she wanna OD on me. Thank you. Thank you. God damn, weren't you so excited? See, I love that song. I was like swaying. I was doing like the blue swoon sway over here. Oh my God. Every time I hear that song, it really excites me. It really gets me pumped up. I feel like hitting the club hard, Davin. Doing some slow jamming. Now, I have a question. Is it what? Is it just me, or did you hear that uh, that uh, MP3? Because that that that's the one that you sent me. When I bought the one off of iTunes, it doesn't sound like that. It like was it just me, or was there like it was like uh, um it was at a certain level, and then all of a sudden it was like getting it got really low and muffled. And then it came back up, and then it got low and muffled. Was that the intention in this song, or was it something on my my end in my earphones? Or did you hear I'm it like, too? Well, like when you know what part? Because it I'm, might have done that on the same part. Maybe towards the end, like there yeah. were. So yeah, when I mean, you heard it, purpose. it was oh, it was on purpose. So there wasn't like some, you know, going up and down, up and down towards the mid. No, it was towards the middle and the end. I'm getting word towards the middle and the end. Is this was the so was the MP3 you sent like a working copy or something? Because it's not like that on the amazing. iTunes. App. You might have to check that out, and I might yeah. have to replace. I might have to replace the the one we just played and swap it in. Do some editing and yeah. swap it in. With the iTunes because there was definitely like some high and low and high and low. I think that might have been the working copy you sent by Axe. Exactly. But anyway, exactly. it doesn't matter because if you go, believe me people, if you go to iTunes and you buy the OD song, it doesn't have like the, that that like muffled at the end and the up and down obviously that must have been a working copy it is completely consistent the same volume it's uh it it it's not the same so buy it on itunes it's definitely perfect um okay so let's go back to uh love this song hopefully go to itunes now everybody buy it buy it od od devin nash devin nash now really quickly i wanted to know about um this soap opera you were on i understand you were on an episode of in our lifetime which is now right. on amazon prime and that was uh, yeah. an independent teen soap opera and right. you apparently wrote a song called summer lit for that mm-hmm. television show and then you did a right. music video that coincided with the show's release and that video is right now on youtube right yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. So if we yeah. go to YouTube and we just put type in "summer lit," it, it'll and come Devin up. Nash, it'll come up. Yep. 
Okay. Yeah. Do you have your own mm. channel on YouTube with your stuff on it, or is it? Yes. Um. 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 I do, but this right here isn't on my channel because it's not. My, this was this was written uh, specifically for their TV show, okay. and so it's on their channel. Oh. Okay. All right. Yeah. So. You would just uh, type yeah, Summer see. Lit, S-U-M-M-E-R-L-I-T, uh, Summer mm, Lit, yep. okay, and Devin yep. Nash, and check it out. So tell us, that what that sounded like it was something that was a really exciting opportunity. How'd you get it? What, yeah, you know, it awesome. upon, what happened with it? So pretty much uh, there was a, a, uh, a group, a uh, director that had um, heard my music through other sources. I had written some songs for them people, and then also she heard some of my other songs, my um, earlier work, and she called me. She said, look, I have a TV show that I'm doing for different, uh, for, it's a, a, a theme song opera, and I need a theme song or, you know, a, a, a song for the show. So we went to the theater. We, uh, they actually, like, you know, debuted at this, 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 this theater, like the first episode. Went, we hung out and everything. I watched the, the, the first episode, and I was like, wow, okay. And, um, for some reason, this, this uh, you know, like I said, sometimes it just kind of hits you. And the word summer lit just kept, kept you know, ringing to me. Because, uh, you know, the, the people, like, you know, kids and, you know, you know we like to say, say, you know, things are lit. That's the end thing. Especially, uh, you know, last Especially summer. Especially when all the going, kids, just when it, but all the kids were probably lit, period. Exactly. You know? Exactly. So. Yeah, probably, <laughs> probably so. Probably so. But, but, yeah, so so, you know, we did that. And, you know, I, it was going on somewhere, and I just, I just put the two together, and just it sounded cool to me. And it's just a really cool party song. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a fun song. Definitely a departure from all the heartbreak. You know, but I had a great so time doing it. I had a great time doing it. So, Devin Nash, now, because I'm going to ask you to pick it up. You better stop writing about heartbreak and despair. Right. You, <laughs> exactly. you got a you gotta little mixture. Give us a little dancing. Remember a little exactly. dance the songs, right? Well, it's on there. It's on okay. there. Okay, that so song is definitely a, yeah, it's a great re- record. I love it. Um, feel right. good record. And, and um, yeah, I mean, like I said, you just have to hear it, but I mean, so I had a great time doing the show. If we go to yeah. iTunes, not Devin, if we go to iTunes and we type in Summer Lit, can we also purchase that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Because it's your iTunes. song. You own the rights to it. It doesn't matter, you right. know. You own the right. rights. Okay, right. so we got another song that we could go to iTunes for, Devin Nash. So, yeah. Summer Lit. Hot Summer Lit. Yeah. Summer Lit. I don't know that one either. I'm going to check that one out. But I want to see the music video. I'm going to see the music video on YouTube for sure. Now, real yeah, quick, definitely. before we start playing your uh, latest song, let's talk mm. about what is this Flashback Friday? Now, I'm already digging that title. That has been Priscilla approved like 10 okay. poppy seeds. <laughs> I love that title. Flashback Friday. What, tell mm-hmm. me, that sounds like that would be a great title for a movie too. What is that mm-hmm. song about? So the, the, the song is actually called don't stop, but I'm starting a, I started a uh, project. So when um and the project is called uh, Flashback Friday, we're going to have a couple of series, uh, different EPs that that are going to have this theme. But um, um, I was watching uh, Stranger Things. I'm, have you ever seen Stranger Things before? No, oh, who's in that? Is that oh, is that with uh, Spike Lee? No, so Stranger Things is a it? show on. Uh, no, uh, Stranger Things is a show on uh, Netflix. It's it's about like a supernatural thing, but it has a very like old like eighties oh, vibe to it. Yeah, I heard yeah. about it. I haven't checked that out. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. So I was I was watching. I was so in, I love great soundtracks. And I was so inspired by the music, and I called my producer up um, that I've been you know that has worked with me on the her album, and you know we were talking about you know all the music that's been out here that you know doesn't really get showcased anymore, like Hall Notes. You know, Phil Collins. Oh, Billy yeah. Joy, Those are my jams. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Now, um, and so, you know, we, you know, and just other things, you know, Michael Prince, all those different people. And we was like, you know what, man? We should do an album that is like 80s, 70s, 
maybe a little bit, uh, you know, late 2000s, well, early 2000s maybe inspired, like, you know, Neptune's inspired a little bit. But, yeah, but anyway, so that's what this is. It's called Flashback Friday. It's inspired by music that, from, you know, further, you know, you know, uh, back in the day, but it has a modern twist to it. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Now, you know I'm all about the 80s. I haven't liked any music after 1989, so I am all <laughs> up on it. Yes, except OD. Except OD. Let me just interject. Yeah, OD, no, I got you. I got you. No, seriously, there are a couple songs like you know that have surfaced in in the 90s and 2000s and 10s and god knows i don't even know what we're in now but uh right. yeah you know once in a while there are songs like i'm totally like my obsession is harry styles from one direction so yeah. you know yeah. i mean, i love you know that music so but i love the whole idea of flashback friday so you know, so the new ep the, it's done and are you releasing it or What's happening? Uh, we, so we so this song that I just sent you now is um is a part of the whole Flashback Friday series. It's not um um but the EP itself, the first actual official single is called Pretty Woman. And that's 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 gonna be released in July. Mm. Um, uh, late July, August, and then the EP is gonna be released in uh, September. Okay. Yeah. All right, yeah. all right. Woo, we got something to look forward to. Oh, I'm yeah, excited. I, you know, we've been working hard on this. Wow. So it's me. So the uh, project is called it's called Flashback Friday by Devin Nash and the Nightlight. Oh. And that's who's going to be. That, that's what's going to be. So it's kind of like I said, it's kind of like a Hall of Notes thing. Oh, oh. You, oh, you really had cool. me at Hall of Notes. Woo. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love it. Yeah. I love it. Okay. So this song we're going to hear now, we're going to close the show out uh, with mm -hmm. this song. It's called Don't Stop, and it's one mm -hmm. of the songs off of your new EP called Flashback mm -hmm. Friday. And mm -hmm. uh, so you, so the guys today, on uh, our listeners, are getting, uh, this is like a pre-release. Exactly. This is you because, ah! because I just feel like you've been so helpful with me. You've been, I mean, like I said, if it wasn't for you, like you said before, I wouldn't even know about the song being on, on TV. So, you know. Got your back. Got, got your back. Don't worry about it. Just, <laughs> you know, when you start getting those residuals rolling, I told you you need to hook me up with Harry Styles now. That's okay, all I'm asking. I'll be sure. I'll be sure. <laughs> I got you. Yeah, hook I me got up, you. Honey. Oh, my God. <laughs> Well, you know what? We are we are already out of time. I told you this show goes fast and furious. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, people mm -hmm. are like, "Oh no, 50 minutes! What am I going to talk about?" Well, our time is already up, and you know what that means? We are going to play the play uh, the song to close out the show. But what I'm going to ask you now is, would you do the honor and come back on my show once your EP your uh, is this right? Your EP drops. Is that what I what yeah. is that the right yeah. verbiage? I promise you. I know I didn't make out this time, but I promise you, I will. We, we're going to go on a, a promotional run. So, and LA will be one of the places I stop. Cause I know I'm going to be performing there. And I'll definitely come in your show. I will be so honored to come in. Your show, so that'd be you awesome. Better OD on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, no, I'm going to use it for, like, everything now. Oh, my gosh. Well, Devin, thank you so much for coming on the show. Uh, everybody, check out his website, DevinNashMusic.com. Instagram, follow him at Devin Nash Music. Go to Apple and buy OD and Crystal. And just type in Devin Nash and buy everything. Please, please help this yep. man out. We got to get him to yeah, L.A., so... <laughs> So he's got to save up some money. All right, sweetie. Well, let me know when the, um, the new album comes out, and we're going to bring you out here and uh, have you do your thing. Do your thing, awesome, honey. Thank awesome. you for coming to the show. Say goodbye to your fans, Mr. Devin Nash. Yes, thank you. Thank you. I look forward to it. All right. Well, we will see Devin next time, and we're going to close the show out with don't stop by Devin Nash. We'll see you next All week right, on love you all. Reality. Okay, bye. Hit it, Ronan. Hey. If you feel it now, get your ass on the floor. You're sexy, brother, act like you know. Up down, shake it, baby, let's go. I love the way you move when you move. Get up now.
You're listening to Question Reality with Priscilla Leona right here on L.A. Talk Radio. 